Yeah. How's everybody doing? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, you've been smiling the whole, whole show. That's great. <laughs> okay. Well, um, okay. So I was dating this girl for about a year and a half, and that's a long time for someone who still sleeps with a nightlight. <laughs> But about a week ago, she broke up with me and is already talking to another guy. So, of course I'm mad, you know? I, sh I have a reason to be, but I'm horrible at being mean. So I'm gonna show you an actual conversation piece between her and I. You see this? This is real. I'm not making this up. Okay, I say, yeah, whatever. I bet he pees sitting down. I'm not over yet. Probably smells like coconut water and cashews, too. My best insult on this guy was saying that he smells like a tropical seed and pees comfortably. But since she's talking to fucking Mr. Dos Equis, I figured I'd go out and find a rebound to hook up with, you know? The only logical thing to do. But then I realized I'm 16 years old. I'm horrible at sex. <laughs> I like put it in her elbow and be like, this is sex, right? <laughs> I don't know the difference. <laughs> Where's my dad? My dad's good at sex. <laughs> yeah, I can hear that shit, you goddamn wizard. <laughs> but even though I am 16 years old, I like to believe that I'm 37 at heart. You know, I love movies, I love podcasts, and I look like a gay Ricky Schroeder. <laughs> and, uh, but there is one thing that does separate me from your average 37 year old, and it is, I will wake up, do nothing, and I'll have a boner. <laughs> you know, I don't even touch it, my dick's just a really light sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a privilege of my youth. <laughs> but I am in high school, so a lot of kids will ask me, like, like, will you have gay sex for $2 trillion? And every kid that answers that is like, no, no way, ew. But if Kevin Spacey, for example, <laughs> offered me $50,000, I'd probably bend over with a smile on my face. I'm not gay, I'm an entrepreneur. <laughs> and in this industry, we take risk. <laughs> risk is what he calls his penis. <laughs> Speaking of penises, um, you guys know when you're done peeing and this joke, this joke, this joke fiz favors guys only because women have peeing figured out. You guys sit down, that's fucking genius. But guys, we stand up. And when we're done peeing, we have to shake, so. <laughs> and you think you got it all, but then you put, you put it back in your pants and you pee a little. Like, that's a real dick move, God. <laughs> Intelligent design my ass. We don't even know when we're done peeing. <laughs> but I'm not hard on myself, you know. A lot of people are really hard on themselves. Like, they just shit on everything they do. But me, I'm extremely impressed with everything that I do. Like, for ex I gave a homeless man 80 cents and walked away like, somebody's being a little generous today. <laughs> then I'll go pee with this with the seat down and not a drop goes on the toilet seat and I'm like, the old gaster doesn't miss. <laughs> and here's somebody like, I can't open this jar. They hand it to me, I pop it open with ease, hand it back like, go fuck yourself, I'm the messiah. <laughs> but I'm horrible at sex. <laughs> Thank you, you guys have been great. My name's Gavin.